In these maple themed knife handles, I've been using these tiny little maple leaves. They're made for, I think, nail art and stuff, and they're cut out of thin plastic, but the problem is that they're a little bit denser than the resin that I use, and they like to sink down to the bottom when we cast these. So they're really hard. it's really hard to suspend them in the resin like this. This worked because the resin was near the end point of curing. And they come like this, and I actually wasn't, I was going to order some more of them, but I haven't even, they're out of stock. So um, you couldn't, and you see how, you see how some sometimes stay stacked. You have to really be careful to separate them. They stay stacked like that there, that one at the end of my thumbnail. Um, so I was going to order some more, just the red ones, and they, this is how they, this is how they come. And they didn't have them in stock. What I was thinking is maybe to find like a little maple leaf paper cutter hole punch. This is the one I bought. Came arrived wrapped in the newspaper. It's supposed to be a little tiny maple leaf cutter. There's an, there's an example of some maple leaves that is cut. They're a little bit bigger than the maple leaves that uh, are in the package that I showed a second ago, but actually I really like the design of them. They look nice. And I think they're going to be great in this handle. Like, they're probably actually going to show up better in the handle mixed in there. So that, that'll be nice, I think. Now the only thing is I need to find some red paper or red construction paper to punch these maple leaves out because that's the color that really that everyone's asking for is this red, this bright red color. Uh, like because it's a lot of uh, Canadians who like this knife uh, because it's uh, got the, the Canadian flag has the bright red maple leaf on it. So let's test it out just in some red paper and see how this little punch works. So this is the pattern at the bottom. You can see the shape cast into there. And here's the punch passing through. Let's check this out, see how well it punches. Because what I'll be doing is just get some paper and just go along the edge and like just Oops, I can't go too close together. I need to learn the spacing. I guess I go to, to where I can barely see the leaf on the last one. Nope, oh, there we go. No, that's too far apart. Okay, where I can see the edge of the leaf, there. It'll look like some, uh, some broken leaves. Yeah. So obviously this paper is not red on the back, but let's see what it looks like on the front side. So I need to get some paper that's red on both sides. Size comparison to the handle. I think those will look great and fit well in there. And it's gonna now they have this little this like texture from the dots from the printing, but I mean they. Uh, they look like real maple leaves, especially the darker red ones. Here, let me remove these light ones from here. They don't look that good. There we go. The dark, the dark ones are nice. Good shape. The shape is nicer than the than these miniature than these miniatures I was buying. So one of the advantages of being able to punch these out of let's say paper or plastic or whatever material that I want is that I can find a material that's gonna that's gonna make it float better inside of the resin. I know that paper floats well inside the resin because I often use shredded cash and shredded cash absorbs the resin and the weight becomes kind of similar to the, to the resin. So if I use red paper for these maple leaves they're also gonna absorb the resin and they're gonna float more freely in there. And I can also experiment with maybe some, some other th plastics that are thinner or more similar density to the resin to get the right buoyancy inside of the resin. And that's uh, something interesting because there's all kinds of different shapes of these punches that you can buy. So we can really customize what we put into these, into these handles.
If you want to see some more of these knife making videos and how I made the, make the knife handles and the sayas and the engravings and such, then um, go ahead and subscribe and check out these uh, future videos. This is the Soul Built Carver Knives and this series is kind of like this is the fall series and um, this is made by us here at uh, Engineerable. So Engineerable channel has a lot of uh, how-to videos and DIY stuff and of course knife making videos. So keep an eye out for more. Thanks. Bye.